messages. There we go. Let's wait for the stream to pick up. Let's get a little nap. Good. It's a long light out here. They call this God's country. We're making our way in to um, do a live review for breakfast here on our travels. We're going to a place called Cobb's Bakery. Apparently it's the best, the best, Jerry, the best. Apparently they've got pizzas in there. They've got bagels and breads and cinnamon rolls and danishes. Uh, I hope, I hope they have a lot of staff working today because, um, oh boy, we almost lost that. We have to ditch the selfie stick. It's broken to get full, honest reviews. Absolutely, Nutella. Absolutely. We're going to see what we got at this place. See if it's all that it's cracked up to be. I'm excited for this live food review. Whenever we do the live reviews, we can't we can't hide our reviews. We can't hide anything. It's all coming out natural. Let's see what it's all about. I think we're getting close here. I think we're getting close. I'm not the driver. I'm not even a navigator. I'm just a passenger here, and we're kind of out in the middle of nowhere. It looks like we're we're entering civilization in this town. It looks like we almost drove by it. Okay, let's see here. I think we're going. I think we're going the right way. I'm going to flip it around. See what else we have here. This is an Uncle Drew live show, going into the the Cobb's Bakery. Now I, I have a feeling it's going to be in this somewhere. It's got to be somewhere in here. We've got to be getting close. getting close a couple hundred yards away from the place right now All right. looks like we're in an industrialized area big rig pulling out ahead of us here there's a fabric place okay where are we going to be at that truck is trying to navigate we're getting there yeah don't be shy to speak you guys can speak don't be scared to speak you all shy well, yeah, I'm never allowed to talk when you're doing anything else, so I just assumed it was time to be quiet. No, man, that's, that's on when we're recording stuff. Here, we're oh. live. This is a live show, an interactive show here on uh, on this today. All right, we are going in here. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, kind of getting excited that we're getting closer here to uh, to our destination, our review, our live review of Cobb's Bread. Oh, I see it. Right over there, look at that. Cobb's bread. We're getting close. We're getting close. I think I'm gonna lose a selfie stick because it's gonna uh, wobble on me a little bit too much. Just pull it down there. I don't. I won't get out in front of the door. Just pull it down there. We'll do a walk in. I wanna take in the whole experience of Cobb's bread, of what I'm seeing here. Okay, get out. <laughs> yeah, all right. I'll see you guys whenever you we'll come back. back. Uh, yeah, we'll go uh, fill up and everything. And no we'll rush. Do back. your thing. Okay. Okay. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> oh, oh, my hip. Oh, my hip. I'm an old man here. Okay, so we're going to take in the whole scenery here. I want to see everything around this area, whatever it's got to offer. So let's see what we've got here. We'll start out this way. Behind me looks like a Ford dealership, a Freshco. 
there's a, look at this. There's a, there's a pizza joint right next door. So this is, this is interesting. We've got it all. So we're going to get right into, we're going to get right into this Cobb's bread. Now, um, we're going to do a slow walk up and, uh, the gentleman inside, I, he knows, he knows uncle Drew's show. So this is going to be an experience if he's shocked when we walk in to do a live review of the shop. So I'm going to, I'm going to get off me right now and we're going to flip so we can see the entire Cobb's bread location right here. Okay. Let's check this out. There it is. There's Cobb's bread. So let's do a review. Like we're an inspector from the outside, the windows, they all look clean. It's got some treats going on in here. They've got some advertising. Uh, look at this. What's this? The, our bakers swirl the yum into every bite. Isn't that interesting? Look at that. So what else do they have on the signs right here? They've got, uh, they're showing classic French baguettes. What else do we have on the signage? Delicious. So the windows are very clean. I'm actually really impressed with this. I'm really impressed. Um, I think this light right here, this probably lights up. I guess during the day, they're not turning the light on. But other than that, it looks really good. It looks, I'm actually really impressed, except for the bird shit that's over there. But the rest of it looks really, really clean. Um, so I'm, uh, I'm excited right now of what we're seeing here on the exterior of the Cobb's bread. It looks like we've got a really good, there, I can see deep inside the windows in there. But yeah, the window cleaners need a raise. I think we've got to talk to the owner possibly and get them to increase salaries and wages. Um, so this is great. This is really good. I can see all the bakers in the back. They're working hard. Um, so we've got more stuff they're showing out here. Let's see here. Okay, I, I'm, there's a one lady in there. I'm going to wait for her to exit the store before I enter because, you know, on Uncle Drew's channel, we don't want to have anybody on there that, you know, doesn't want to be on there. And I am on limited time here since I'm on a, a road trip. We can't spend too much time around. So we're going to get back into this Cobb's Bread location. I'm excited, though. From what I can see in the glass windows here, everything looks really good. All right, I'm going to enter. Let's see. Let's let's take in everything as we, as we enter. Enter. Ooh, this smells good. We've got some her focaccia bread, pizza bases. Look at that. That looks really good too. Look at all the bread. Look at all the bagels. Look at these display cases. If we do a favor and take a screenshot of this, it would be fantastic. Thank you. Morning. Hi. Morning. How are you? I'm well. Is Mr. Blackett in this morning? Yes, he's there. He's just on call with Oh, he's on a call? Okay, fantastic. Thank you. Look at these display cases. These are fantastic. How do you like Cobb's Bakery? Do you like Cobb's Bakery? Yes, I do. You love being here? Yeah. Nice. That's good. This is my second home. This is your second home right in here? <laughs> Fantastic. I'm just taking some pictures of the display cases. A jalapeno twist. Look at these. Now, this is a display case. You guys know I've been in these bakeries before, and they haven't always been fantastic. Okay. I have more. Danish. So we've got a lot of breads. Look at those breads. Thank you, though. Thank you. What was that that you tried that you're going to get? It sounded like it tastes really good. Chocolate crunch cinnamon? Okay, I might have to. Sure, absolutely. Thank you. This is great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. 
We've got our first sample of the day right here. Um, it's a chocolate cinnamon crunch. So let's 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 try this one out right now. This is our first sample. Our first sample right here. <clears throat> Pardon me. Spectacular. This is spectacular. I want to yell out the loudest boom I've ever had, but there's a lot of people in here right now, so we can't do that. That's really good. That was really good. Oh. Free samples. You're coming into the Cobb's Bread in Belleville, and we're getting free samples. There's lineups happening in here right now. There's lineups. I can't believe the lineups that are happening in here. Oh, you've got to see who we're going to about to see here. <laughs> Pardon me for a second. <laughs> How you nice doing, brother? You. Yeah, good to good. see you too, man. Good to see you. It's been you so long. Right We're live right now, baby. Fantastic. Just for you. You want to say hello to the people? Hello, people. How many viewers are we on right now? We're like 3,000. 3,000. Oh, this display cases look fantastic, my man. Thank you, mate. They look amazing. Yeah. I just had this sample out here. This sample was amazing. Incredible stuff. Excellent. I'm amazed. Good. You want to say anything to the viewers about your place? Uh, yeah, welcome to uh, the best place in the world. Love it. The best bakery in the world. Did everybody hear that? The best bakery. Everything looks fantastic. I'm really impressed. I'm really impressed. Well, you know, our concept is we bake fresh every day. So when we come in, this place is empty. Every day. Every day. Incredible. I'm, I'm amazed by this. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Is there any sort of political affiliation with any types of breads out here? or? political affiliation for any type of bread or uh, <laughs> I'm just messing with you look at that yeah oh nice nice I love it I love it absolutely let's do this oh let's let's just check that out that's incredible <laughs> so we got a slice in here Love this it. Slices it thick. This slices it regular. Is this anything like that would have been used on the Seinfeld with Kramer using his slicer? His was a meat slicer, uh, not a no, bread no, slicer. No. It's a little bit different. Okay, so a little you bit put different. It up here, and then you put the bread in here. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you do that as people purchase their bread and they want it sliced. Boom. Yeah. They get to choose their thickness levels. If it's a busier day, we'll pre-slice them. Oh, quicker. pardon me. And then we these Whoa. ovens here. We've got a live slicer happening. Oh yeah, live slice. Incredible. Let's see live a live slice. slice. Love it. That's incredible. Love it. Get love it. Love it. Love it. And we got the ovens here. These are imported from Australia. Australian ovens? Australian ovens. How many ovens? Is that 10? Uh, Eight? You got four decks in each. Four decks then in each. You got one. a double deck on the bottom oh. and then single decks in the middle. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Love that. Yeah. And, uh, love what I'm seeing. Racks of bread. Racks of bread in here, everybody. This is incredible. And this is uh, our Prupa. Oh, nice. So, do you know what Prupa does? Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Look at this. So, we're softening up the butter right now for the uh, cinnamon buns. Okay, great. And you can feel that humidity, right? I, as soon as you open it, absolutely. Yeah. So we're always trying to maintain normally close to about eighty percent humidity level, but if the door opens, you lose a little bit, and then okay. you have about thirty-eight degrees temperature. Now. Nice, nice. What's what's being baked live over here? Cinnamon buns, baby. Come on. Yeah. This is what you're known for. Is this one of the top items? One of the top items, yeah. Wow. Yeah, freshly baked every day. So these are. Uh, this is awesome. So what are we doing right here? We're just we've got our, our butter going on. Our, our... Yeah. So this is Bess. So I... <laughs> Hi. So what Bess has done is she's pinned out the dough. And now she's spreading out the butter and with the butter being spread out then she puts on the cinnamon sugar and then she rolls it up that's amazing look at that i, I feel like you're putting it under a bit of pressure though being on camera oh there's uh, no there. pressure <laughs> it looks like she's a pro like this this is incredible well i was helping last week and, and you could tell which ones were Bess's and which ones were mine wow Bess is really uh, so how many cinnamon rolls are, are we call them cinnamon rolls or cinnamon buns Cinnamon buns. How many? How many would this make right here? What we're seeing? You're gonna get. This is a lot. Yeah, so you get 24. Let's for this make 24. One. Nice. And how many of these would ballpark it for me? How many would you go through a day? Like uh, 50, 100. Today 300? we made 72 large ones. Nice. And then for tomorrow, I think we're doing 48. 
So we'll, we'll probably do some more extra for tomorrow, though. So. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. I love this. I, I love seeing this. What would be the next step? What after after the You're butter? We're going to find out. You know, this seems to be a really popular live that the viewers are starting to tune in for us right now. Yeah. Yeah, these are our guests right now, so we've got a we've got any, a lot uh, of stuff that's going on here. Any questions about world worldwide conflicts or anything? No, no, no questions no. coming up about uh, <laughs> worldwide conflicts. Okay. Yeah, but that's good. That's amazing. So this is uh, this is how they go. I've always wanted to see them made in big batches. Yeah, and then right? we make the cinnamon sugar in house as well, so we mix cinnamon brown sugar, sugar and brown oh, cinnamon. This is this is unexpected content on the uh, channel here of watching this made in action i wasn't expecting this we weren't expecting you to be here we were expecting a hello if that pick up some bagels and be on the way but this is incredible right You're here gonna watch want and you want bagels from us absolutely my man you came for the best my man. i don't i don't make them like this at home your cinnamon buns no no i don't have the technique it, it's one of the more tricky doughs to make wow oh this looks this looks good this looks good. So how about yourself? How, how early were in here today? How many what? How early did you get in today? How early did you come in? Oh, I was in at eight. Eight, okay. Yeah, but my baker's uh, best, you've been here since four? That's correct. Yeah, and then our first bakers were in at 1 a.m. So we had two people in at one, they've already left. Wow. That's some early stuff. Yeah, but well, that's how you get it, all the product out in the front, right? Oh. Hey, some more products. What do we have here? What's this one? That's our focaccia. Oh, the focaccia. So we've already got another tryout. Nice. And how about up top? What's that one? Cheese flippers. Nice. Those look fantastic. Yeah, these are great. Ooh. Simple these ones. It's just white dough and a bit of cheese in there. And you roll it together. White dough and cheese in there. I love that. Those are great. Oh, this is, oh, this, is this is right here. This is the roll. You know, we've got a lot of viewers in here. One of our biggest lives. I'm sorry. One no of our way. biggest lives ever here, <laughs> well into double digits on Uncle Drew Can Cook the Channel there at we the Cobbs Baker. Um, I would love to plant the phone there and leave it for about eight hours. Yeah. So we got a question about the price of flour. Great question. Mm. Um, we uh, we buy our flour months in advance for the commodity pricing. So months? Oh, that's good planning. Right now we're about 20 bucks a bag of flour. 20 bucks. And how big is the bag of flour? 20 kilos. 20 I'll kilos. Show, I'll show you that. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. I thought we could have a WWE match where you smack a bag of flour over my head and yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> get ready for WrestleMania, baby. <laughs> Look at the size of the roll. Yeah. My goodness. I best makes this look so easy. This is not easy. No, I don't. I don't think uh, easy at all. But she is making it look easy for sure. Yeah. Because it's not. It's not like a home cook where we can just do it over again. No, and also, yeah. So what's that being sprayed in there? Is that water? water? Just so water? Helps, okay. Ah, okay. Helps Excellent. keep it together when you pin it together. Very interesting. Okay, something else I just learned there too. And then another tricky part is actually when you're cutting it, you want to try and cut even pieces. Okay. So we've got a bit of a trick to make sure that each piece comes out nice and even. Nice. the ends off because no one wants the end. No one likes the end pieces? Interesting here. We'll probably use the end pieces for like samples and things Yeah, like that, okay. We make sure our customers get the very best here. Isn't that right. something? And that way you know every piece is even. My goodness. We just gave away a secret of the of the bakery right there. That's in, that's incredible. Execution. I love that. Oh, that's amazing. And then once that's done, once that's done, in the oven they go. Uh, they have to go proof at first. Proof at first, okay. But they still need to proof and let that yeast and gluten all develop and make sure it's not too stiff in the dough. You Interesting. Want it all together, okay. Bringing the family together, basically. I love it. I love it. Uh, we do have a question from our viewer here, uh, Mike, of how will we bake it? How will we bake it? How will we bake it? Like, uh, uh, how long is the proofing process first, I guess? Proofing, typically, because with, with this dough, there's a lot of sugar and yeast in there. Okay. So, typically, it will probably need about 20 minutes in the proofer. Okay, so 20 minutes. So, not, not uh, it's not an hour or two hour long process. Okay, good. Yeah. And then, in, well, when you but, put the, so I'll show you the mixing. Sure. Part. And look at the swells in there. Look at that. Oh, Beautiful. I like that. Yeah. Beautiful. 
Look, look at all those. Look at all those. Get better than that. That's incredible. So typically, um, when you start to finish, this is what it looks like before. Ah, okay. Before we pin it out, right? So when she had it, she already yes. rolled it out, so it's nice. And That's the size of it at the beginning, okay. So from you nice. start to finish, yeah. When you put the flour and water in there to mm -hmm. get it rolled out to get it pinned out, it's probably about an hour and a half. Hour and a half, okay. And then what Oh, nice. Okay, that's a that's a different process that we saw. Sorry, dear. And then, so right now we're making our sourdough. So sourdough needs to be like this is for tomorrow. So this is our levain for the sourdough. Have you ever okay. made sourdough, chef? No, I don't believe I have. Not at not a not on the channel, anyways. No, you should no. give it a go. Okay, we'll add that to the this list. This is your baby, though. So this is called the levain, the starter. A lot of people say. Okay. So this is actually from San Francisco. Ah. So this is like a living, breathing piece of bacteria, but it's healthy bacteria. Love it. So we actually imported this, and whenever we open up a new Cobb's bakery, mm -hmm. we grab the same levain from another bakery, and we start building it, and we have to feed it every day. Wow. So you can okay. see here, we're starting to feed this. So this mm -hmm. is the levain. Okay. So we put a bit of water, we put a bit of white flour, and a little bit of whole wheat flour, and that's what we start to... And this, this will be used for tomorrow's sourdough for Monday. Okay. So it's really, so when people say, oh, can I order, you know, order sourdough, mm -hmm. it's like, well, we need a couple of days notice, because we truly do. So that's your lead time, kind of like leads the, the football club. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Garbage thing. Got to check the score. <laughs> and this is our mixing bowl. So you can see here, Kat's added in the Levain, and then she's added the white flour, and there's going to be a bit of uh, salt for the flavor, and then water. And this is our bags of flour you're asking about. These are all the flour. We have another question as well about what's so unique about it. Why is it from San Francisco? Well, San Francisco is the home of sourdough. They've been doing sourdough for 100 plus years now. So, so they know. They know. Experts. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. We, we've got like a baking like production team. Okay. Sourdough actually was a newer product to Cobbs. We didn't, when Cobbs started in 2003, we didn't do sourdough. Interesting. But as the popularity of it grew, we sent our team to say, okay, how are we going to do the best sourdough possible? And where's better than something? Yeah. Now, do you ever do any working out, like boxing on the flour at all? Uh, well, the, the bag isn't that thick, and these pores, it would, it would tear it apart. It would be quite, quite the mess. So we've got a white flour here, and there's yeah. another comment from a, a gentleman who wants, uh, a Ben wants to see something go in the oven. Is there anything ready to go in? Um, mm. Mm. Do we have anything? We mm. already put in the whole. Beef. Nothing ready, right Nothing ready, okay. Is there anything in that? Uh, I think the blocks are still in there. I can try it. That little guy. Yeah, so we've got, so this is all digital. Okay. So we've got blocks means like loaves. So we've got some loaves in the oven. So basically if I want to set up my oven, mm -hmm. I just hit products and then I select. So bottom left would be my danishes and croissants. And this is all preset. Wow. So now my oven's going to preheat. When it's ready to go, I just hit start. Love it. Some items have steam on it. So that's how you can get a bit of a shine on the bread. So you can see the salad it's got a little bit of a shine. Yeah. That's because it's got steam on it. Okay. So if I wow. don't want to shine, obviously no steam. Yep, yep. And a good example would be... All right, let's go to the bag. It smells amazing well, in here, these, by the way. Yeah, these don't have steam. You can see they're not a, not a shine. I get you. Okay. Yeah. So oh. Some products excel with a bit of steam. Some uh, not steam. I really like the look of those. Yeah, you've got one. I really like the look of those. Those are. I, those look fantastic. I live ten minutes away from the bakery. Yeah. And the amount of times I grab one of these and ate on the way home. I can see why they they just look spectacular. It's, yeah. It's oh, this is this is like heaven. You say this this uh, town is God's country. It smells like God's country right in here. Yeah. Absolutely. This is. Whew, that's fantastic. Well, that was a great tour. I can't stay too long because the gentleman in the car might get a little bit upset at me yeah, uh, yeah, not, at not so moving along. Oh, sorry, sorry, brother. Let's get you hooked up with uh, some products. You wanted a pizza? Well, the viewers want us to do a pizza review. Okay. So your pizzas are down here. So we've got the vegetarian one. So that's got uh, mushrooms, olives, and the I think the chorizo and prosciutto. Yeah, we don't do pineapple where I come from, but definitely do a, a chorizo and prosciutto. And um, 
Alex, I don't no cherry, but we do have apple, blueberry, raspberry. It's okay, I told him to come in. No, yes. for you. Do you have a, a preference? Not yet. Oh, um, a jalapeno cheese twist. The viewers are. Uh, oh boy. that's the jalapeno cheese twist. Yeah. Let's get a, a look. We're going to be reviewing all of these, which I have a feeling they're all going to be ten plus spectacular types yeah. of items here. So that's a cheese twist. Did we do the pizza, the chorizo pizza? Oh, it's in there as well. Okay, perfect. Uh, you want to choose something, Matthew? There's raspberry and custard. There's chocolates cherries no cherries but blueberries apples raspberry and custard okay two raspberry and custard i believe yes sir the viewers are there anything else that we should try actually i believe we're going to try an everything bagel as well This is incredible seeing the amount of baked goods in this in this store. I'm impressed. The lineups are incredible. Wow. Is there anything else you recommend that we should be trying here? We, we've got a lot. Oh, and I am going to try your bagel, the, an everything bagel as well. Please. Um, you want anything with chocolate? Yes. Yeah, maybe I'll try that one on top, the chocolate one on top. Chocolate. Uh, the chocolate croissant? Okay, sure. Oh, that's Paul. We almost had a mistake there. That was... <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Look at that. And uh, a chocolate croissant. I think that's going to be a lot of... Just one, absolutely. Um, it's getting really busy in the bakery right now, so we're going to have to get out of the way of everybody. We've got a viewer requesting dinner rolls, but I, it's not dinner time, it's breakfast time. I don't like dinner rolls. Yeah. That's a gentleman who has a nickname for the bakers. Uh, is that everything in here? Okay. Okay. I think we got everything there. Is that everything? I, I think The Rock. I think The Rock is going to end up winning. Yeah. It'll be his show for sure. It'll be here show for sure. I think that's everything that we need. Yeah. No, no, no. I don't want anything on the house. Nothing on the house. No, I want nothing on the house. I refuse. I refuse. Okay, this wasn't expected. This is not why I was coming by. Is there a place we can make donations or something? Do you have a donation spot here? No, we're, we're going to do a barbecue in the summer to raise some money for Gleam the Street Bank. So. Okay, then you let me know about that. Absolutely. Let me put that away. I don't want to show those card numbers online <laughs> i'm gonna get a little quick one with the two of us in here this is the baker the master baker of belleville right here andy did us a great tour is there anything else you want to say to the viewers you want to say hello oh, uh, cream cheese for the bagel is uh, nutella is asking about cream cheese for the bagels uh, and it's a grocery store next by next door so no cream cheese that. but that's okay i want to taste the authentic product i want to thank andy here the master baker for the great tour that we just had in his bakery and take one last look at everything give it a look look at everything in the bakery here thank it's you to the viewers fantastic and we've got some more of our glass display cases that's amazing. Thanks so much, Andy. Really welcome. appreciate it. Great yeah, to see yeah. you too, nice brother. To see you too, mate. I was going to give you a big Uncle Drew's been looking for you, but we have too many people. You've got yeah. lineups in here. Anyways, I'll get over to your hair. Awesome. Thanks so much. And we're going to go and review these in the car ride. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, okay. I'll be watching. All right. Thanks so much, okay. my man. Thank okay, you, take care. Okay, safe drive, okay? Thank you, sir. Cheers. Awesome. Pardon me, everybody. Pardon me. Thank you. You're welcome. There, there, there are lineups in the bakery. The bakery is packed right now. The bakery, the bakery is absolutely packed. Um, I think I've pissed off my uh, road trip pals here uh, that I took a while on the bakery. Um, okay, so I don't know where they've gone to. Um, I think this might be them. I think this might be them because now we're gonna get to review everything in the car. Am I at the right car? I think I'm in the right car here. <laughs> I am, the right, I am in the right car. This is the right car. Okay, just checking while we're getting in so we can get all loaded up with our with our baked goods. All right, that's sorted out. And then um, 
I'm just gonna put the phone down for a second here while I uh, get my safety belt on. We want to be, I'll put it here. How about that? Oh, you'll need it. Okay. Hey buddy, can you grab me one more bottle of water from back there? I'm all buckled up. We're gonna get into our review. Um, oh, we have two, <clears throat> we're good. I believe so as well, BG, I believe so as well. So we're gonna pull something out first. I'll set that aside. That's gonna be the bagel. All right, buddy in the back, what would you like to try? I've got a raspberry something here. Yeah, we'll do that. You wanna try this one? Okay, so I'm just gonna show the inside of the bag first. So that's our raspberry. Is that a raspberry Danish? Is that what we would call that one? Yeah, the Ra raspberry, yeah. Raspberry, raspberry Danish. So that's a really good one. So although we're on our way to what's known as one of the, um, there are a lot of road snacks here, absolutely. We're on our way to a place that is famous for their Montreal style bagels. I mean, famous. I was in the bakery, Cobb's Bread, had to try out their everything bagel. So, and this is about as fresh as they come too. I mean, they're, they're pretty much out of the oven. So I'll show you inside the bag here. Let's start out with the, and I'll, I'll get you something as well once you get on the road. I know you want to wait until you're on the, oh, I, on the on the freeway there. So that's our that's our everything bagel. I'm an everything bagel fan. I don't know about anybody else out there, but let's. Um, it, it feels like this is soft and fresh and everything. I'm gonna I'm gonna tear off a. I was gonna tear off a piece, but I think I'm just gonna. I think I'm just gonna. How oh how good is that? Very good. If you were gonna rate that, what are you eating? The cherry Danish? Cherry raspberry. Danish. The raspberry. 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 Sorry, I keep yeah. saying cherry, but it's raspberry. Um, out of how freshness? What would you say on the freshness level? Probably a solid nine or nine and a half. Solid nine or nine and a half out of ten. So that's fantastic on the freshness. How's the flavor of the raspberry? Again, I'd say nine or nine and a half. Nine, nine and a half again yeah. on the flavor profile. So overall score on the raspberry Danish from Cobb's Bakery? Out of, it, out of ten? Out of ten would have to be a nine and a half, I imagine. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty impressive on the first one. Yeah. I'm going to try the uh, Everything Bagel right here, which is, look how soft. Look how soft that is. It, it's fresh and everything. Let's let's try a bite. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna try another bite. It's that good. Wow. Mm. It's fresh. Proper amount of seasoning on there. I mean, how does that bagel get better? And when they say the size matter, absolutely. On that bagel, I'm not scoring this against Montreal style bagels. I'm scoring representative of what came out of that Cobb's Bakery. Freshness level, that's a 10. I don't know how a bagel is any fresher than what I just had. That's a 10. Softness, density, 10. Uh, right amount of seasoning on there, 10. Um, if they came straight out of the oven when they were, when they were, uh, hot or warm first of all i would have burned the skin off the roof of my mouth I would have just jacked it up to a top score but i give that everything bagel from cobb's bakery in belleville uh it, it's 10 out of 10 it has to be it was a fantastic perfect bagel i just don't know how that bagel gets any better whether you want to slice it open and toast it throw some cream cheese or butter great okay let's see oh i've seen the request for the jalapeno twist yes let's see what we've got here coming out next i'll leave the chocolate croissant that's for someone else I've got a cherry bagel, that's for someone else. Oh, I have pizza and a jalapeno twist. Now, I, I've gotta say, that was way too generous of the, uh, that was way too generous of the owner in there to uh, uh, supply these at no cost. I, I, I certainly wasn't looking for it, very appreciative of it. I would like to donate to his charity of, of choice in the store, but they're doing a barbecue, so <laughs> we're gonna make sure we come back to sponsor that later on in the summer when that happens because we weren't looking for freebies, handouts here, but it was just way too generous from uh, from Andy. So Andy, thank you for taking care of Uncle um, and, his, and his food, I guess, what do you call it? Food snacks for the road trip? Okay, on to the next item. Uh, would you like something? Would you like a chocolate croissant or a raspberry? You'll eat, after. You'll eat after. Okay, so now this is the big bag right here. Check this out. Oh, so let's see. What are they going on the uh, on the bag? Check this out. On the bag, this is their uh, our bread's humbling bag and bragging rights. Thoughtfully sourced ingredients. Yes, baked from scratch every day, which is true because I just saw it happening. And I really like this part here. All the unsold bread is uh, donated to local charities. Uh, community supporter, we know that is true and fact as well. So I think from Cobb's Bread, this is just absolutely spectacular for them to do that. 
Okay, so next up, we've got two items in here. Let's try and open this up. We've got uh, we've got the pizza. I think I've got it upside down. I do. There we go. We've got a jalapeno twist and a pizza. So viewer Sean is saying, get out the uh, jalapeno twist. I'll just I'll pull out the whole thing here. I'll pull out the whole thing. Look at the size of this. I can't even. I can't even lift it. It's so big. Look at the size of this thing. Do you want to have some of the chocolate when I got? You want some chocolate back there, buddy? No, it's okay. Okay. So I'm gonna figure out how I can try this jalapeno twist here. Um, this smells really good, by the way. Like really good. Okay. I'm gonna set the camera down so I can break off a chunk here for a second. Hopefully, hold on. Right, it's massive. It's massive. So I'll take off a piece. Oh, I'm about to lose. I'm about to lose it here. I don't want to lose that clone, but there we go. I think we might be set right there. So I'm gonna break this piece off of the jalapeno twist. I'm gonna put the other back in the bag. Okay, we're set. We're set. Glad you're able to bear with us in those technical difficulties. But I broke off a fairly good chunk of the jalapeno twist. So let's try this. Here we go. Mmm. 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 Oh boy. I need another bite of this one. That's how good this is. I've never had this. First time. I'm already getting the flavor from jalapenos. They're starting to hit me. Are those green olives in there too, or are those all jalapeno? Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. This is freaking incredible. This is freaking incredible. Jalapeno twist. I'm giving this one. Um, I'm giving this one. I can't. I can't. I can't not. This is a ten out of ten. A ten out of ten on the jalapeno twist. It's that good. Like normally, we get product, whether it's a pizza or whatever. We want hot peppers, jalapenos. They're never spicy. They're never hot. You always want more. This has. The perfect amount of jalapeno in there. Mmm. Oh, I keep trying it. Oh, it's done. You need some chocolate back there, buddy? Yeah, sure. All right. Let me let me hook you up. I'll figure out how to do this in a second. Put that back in the bag for a second. The baked goods were free, but it's going to cost me 200 bucks to get this thing vacuumed, I think. I'm going to have to vacuum the car. Okay, this one. Oh, that's the bagel. We already went through that one. You need chocolate back there. We're getting him a chocolate... Uh, croissant. A chocolate croissant. That's what this one is. See that? That one looks beautiful. I'm going to pull it out just so we can get a good look at that before we pass it back. Check this one out. There's our chocolate croissant. Mm. All the angles of the chocolate. Here you go, buddy. Chocolate croissant. Remember, we'll need an honest review of that chocolate croissant as well. Okay. I think next up we've got their uh, prosciutto and chorizo pizza. This is what we really came for, right? We wanted to do a pizza review. We'll pull out our bag. Would you like some uh, jalapeno twist? Rip off a small piece. I'll tell you, what, I'm gonna hold it up and you're gonna rip. Rip what you can right there and I'll oh. pull this way. Yeah, we made it. We made it. It was a good tear. All right. So, all right, here comes the pizza. So, this is, uh, how's that chocolate twist back there, buddy? I give it a 9 out of 10. The only thing that could be better maybe is if the chocolate was a little liquidy. But You're I think it's because we didn't get there right when they were coming out. But 9 out of 10. Okay, so 9 out of 10 on the uh, chocolate croissant. Okay, that's a good score. I think 9 out of 10 is very yeah, above yeah, respectable. I mean, the, bread, the, bread, the, fluffy, the chocolate tastes great. The sugar's great. 
lot of sugar, a lot of chocolate. So you would have liked the chocolate a little bit softer. Okay, I get it. Yeah. Okay. Other than that, perfect. Hey, don't go off the road here, buddy. Hello. Are you sure? Look like you're going off the road right there. The car will steer itself. I hope so. All right, so here comes the pizza. I didn't expect to be going into a bakery and be able to get pizza like this, but this is authentic, fantastic. Look at chorizo, chorizo pizza, chorizo and prosciutto. And um, I, that jalapeno, let me tell you, the jalapeno right now is still sticking with me. It's that good. I'm going to have to get back in for another bite of the jalapeno. But let's try out the pizza right here. This will be an honest pizza review. I want to try and get everything at the same time here. I might need a couple of bites to taste everything. That tastes good. I have sauce on the side of my face right now. Um, the bread is really good on this pizza. So that, good? that was a pizza crust. Mm. I'm gonna give this out, out of 10. The chorizo and um, prosciutto pizza. I'm gonna give this one a solid, I'm gonna give this one a solid, well, I mean, it's. It's better than any frozen pizzas I've had. I think it's better than some of those chain pizzas that I've had. And remember, this isn't fresh, like out of an oven hot. So it's it's a different type of pizza that I'm eating here. The bread though, is this is spectacular bread. I'm gonna give this one up. Out of 10, I'd eat this every day. I mean, I would. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go uh, monster score here. I'm gonna give this one an I'm gonna go a 9.1 on this pizza right here, 9.1. Which could be low. I... Does anyone wanna try that pizza that I just tried? Oh, yeah. All right, well, we're sharing day. That was really good, I have no napkin with me, so I'm gonna do it old school. Uh, was that everything? Uh, what was your review on the uh, jalapeno twist over there? That was good. You liked it? Yep. Did it have a proper amount of jalapeno in there? I don't know. I dropped half of them. You dropped them? <laughs> Bro, they'll be in the car. You, you know what? Those are there. those are snacks for later. Okay, so Matthew, you want to try some of this uh, jalapeno twist? No, not for me. Not not for you. Okay, so no jalapeno twist. Um, bagel, everything bagel. You want to try some everything bagel? Yeah. You want, pardon me. After the pizza, what's your uh, what's your take on that pizza right now? I'd go a little bit better. I'd say it was for sure better than the croissants. I'd give it a nine and a half. Wow! So Uncle gave that pizza a nine one, which I thought was uh, a monster score, and he comes in from the back with an even bigger score, nine and a half on that pizza, chorizo prosciutto pizza from Cobb's Bread in Belleville, Ontario, Canada. Absolutely phenomenal, especially with the tour that we got on the entire bakery. I mean, the experience of going in there. If, if you're just joining the live now or you're jumping in, go back and check out about halfway through when we were doing the, the walk through the bakery. We we're getting an education on bakery um, and, and baking. Uh, but look at the lineup that they had in there. So if you're driving through Belleville, Ontario, make sure you take the exit. I think it was exit number 62. You're hanging a right. And it was going south. Uh, go all the way down about, a, like about three quarters of a mile or so or, or a kilometer in that range. Hang another right, get or put in your GPS. How about that? And check out Cobb's Bakery in Belleville. I think you're gonna be really impressed with what you get in there, those product. I was in there at about 10, 10 30 Eastern time in the morning, and everything's being baked fresh. Um, as he had mentioned, bakers start in there early about 1 a.m., 2 a.m. I think I recall him saying. <coughs> and then they finish, and then another set of bakers come in. Uh, around 8 a.m. like himself around 8 a.m. or so and they start baking again and getting things prepped and as the uh, owner had mentioned uh, everything's baked fresh in there every day and then whatever they don't sell they're donating to the local obviously a fantastic uh, cause a lot of road snacks here a lot of road snacks uh, so you're still going on the pizza or are you yeah. ready for a bagel back there okay I think I've tried everything oh wait there's another bag here we might have we might have missed something what's this one? Oh. 
taste I, I didn't try this yet. Uh, this is I may have to try a bite of this one. I may have to try a bite of your raspberry Danish. This is what we have here. Raspberry, raspberry Danish. Okay, I'm gonna try a bite of your Danish, but that's okay. Um, this looks really good too. I mean, everything's looking really good. Uh, actually, Uncle Drew's chest there was looking really good too, but okay, check that out. So we've got, it looks like some nice powdered sugar on there. Raspberry, Danish, looking fresh. Like donkey. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give a, I'm gonna, oh, we're, we're, in a, we're in a driving war right now. Careful, aircraft patrolled. We don't want to get tickets. Although, getting pulled over by the 5-0 would be a great segment for the live. Anyway, let's try out this raspberry Danish. I want to make sure I get a raspberry in the bite. Mmm. Mmm. This is spectacular. Yeah. You had the raspberry as well, right? I did, yeah. This is spectacular. I'm going to have another bite. Mmm. Mm. Cobb's Bakery, Belleville, Ontario, Canada. Raspberry Danish is absolutely incredible. Wow. Check them out online. This one's a winner. I'm going to rate this raspberry. We call this a Danish? Is this what we're going to call this? A raspberry Danish? I'm going to rate this one. I mean, that's that's got to be as near to a 10 as possible. So I'm going to go... I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go nine point eight on this. Like freshness level, ten out of ten. Um, uh, cream, ten out of ten. The 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 bake, ten out of ten. The raspberry, that's where I'm. That's where I'm down at a nine nine eight nine nine. So overall, fantastic on the raspberry game. Yeah, the only problem is if the center was just a hair bigger. It's yeah. So good, you want a little bit more. There we go. So that's that's some. That's so I gave it a nine. There we go. So it was a nine five nine eight. We want the center bigger with a little bit more filling because it was actually that good. Um, so it's not a knock on it. It's just saying we want more. So in a sense, it could be a 10 just because we want more, the one and more factor. Given how fresh everything was, I'm regretting that we didn't get those Cinnabons that he made. There was the Oreo on top of the Cinnabon. Should have got one. There was an Oreo? Oreo topped. It's like Oreo on top, crumble, and a Cinnabon. Wow, I didn't see that. It was, it was I on know. the right side. It was like a... Oh, I tried that. Sorry, that was the chocolate crunch. Yeah. I think that might... Yeah, I had a sample. I got another free sample out there. Um, the, the, when I went in, the, the lovely girl at the beginning it was uh, was fantastic. She gave me a sample to try. It was. It was really good. Yeah. And then we watched how those cinnamon rolls are being... How they were being baked. Brand fresh, everything, right from beginning to end. Um, you want to try some of this bagel now, buddy? Yeah, sure. Let's get it. That's an everything bagel. Fresh, fresh. I've got Danish left. I've got, um, I'm just adding up, putting it on the top here for a second. I wanna make sure I didn't miss out anything. Oh yeah, I'll put that back. So this is what we've got here. We've got, uh, we've got some Danish left and I've got some jalapeno twist left. Honestly, the jalapeno twist, I don't know how I'm not gonna eat any more of that on the way in. This was like Carb Central and Sugar Central, but we loved it, they were great. What's your take on that bagel back there? Pretty good. I give it. I give it a nine six. The only thing I would say is, is I'm not a fan of the sesame seed. I'd go more of a four cheese, but the bagel overall is just great. Okay, so you said sorry. You said a nine six on the everything bagel. Six. Nine six. That's because you're not a fan of the sesame. He's more of a fan of the the four cheese, but nine six is a spectacular yeah, rating. Bagel itself is just great. Fresh tastes great. Fresh tastes great, right there. Okay, I think we tried everything, right? All right. Well. Everybody, thanks for joining the live. We visited Cobb's Bread, Belleville, Ontario. Make sure you get out there. Tell them Uncle Drew sent you. You're not going to get any deals or any discounts uh, based on that, but it'll it'll just sound really good when you go in. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching the channel. Some more great videos coming out. In fact, in 11 minutes, I believe my full chili video recipe is dropping. So check that one out too. Until next time, boom! Yeah, but funny as the airbag popped on that. Uh, <laughs> we don't know airbags pop. No, we got a rig. That would we got be really rig. funny. I guess we could. That, that might have been a sign off, but we could just drive here showing video.